this program, it's, it's not for everyone. And it's not for me, so I'm going to be leaving today. Like, yeah, I'm happy Chandler's no longer there. I mean, he's an asshole. I, I was completely surprised, and I think everybody could see that. Um, you know, I, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. You know, he he could have done the slightest thing wrong, and it would have been blown up into a big thing. I I made it quite vocal that I thought if anybody from the deck crew was was to leave, I would have liked it to be Riley. Um, Ooh, can you repeat and, that? No, I, I, I made it clear that that's the way that I felt. And the fact that she was gloating and was almost happy at the I fact that, that. that Chandler left, it really pissed me off. Yeah, I certainly didn't expect anyone to be fired. Um, and, you know, Ashton said to me that, oh, you're so happy Chandler was fired. You sat there with a grin on your face. Well, I know that without a doubt, I was very stoic. I'm going to be leaving today. If Chandler wanted to be there, he would have made every effort to be there. I think it's time for us to part company. It's just, I don't think it's a good fit. What was the final straw for Chandler? I don't actually recall, but I could, it, it's kind of a feeling you get that you just know things are not getting better. And Chandler, Felt like he wasn't given enough respect, which he demanded. It's like paying ransom. It's just never gonna fly. You don't have to like me, but you will respect me. Oh, the f I will. You know, you want my respect? Earn it. You earn respect by doing the right thing. You earn it by leading. You earn it by using your brains more than your mouth. I mean, you need to put your brain in gear before you open your mouth. <coughs> yeah. Oh, no, you, bro. Blaming on Ash, bro. He came home. Let's have a think about this. It's happening. Hey, Whole team pays for it. Everybody doesn't have to pay for the indiscretions of one individual. Why do you have to go home as a team? No, you don't. Leave him there. He's a big boy. Christ, look at him. You think he can't take care of himself? And I have to make a big spectacle out of it. And then you don't also have that confrontation with Riley. You've already avoided that now at this point if you just leave him there. Let him come home when he comes home. Ross lost respect for Chandler. Riley was never going to respect Chandler. And Ashton just sitting there with a shitting grin on his face going, well, I had fun. I'm going like, all right. But that whole situation didn't have to happen. And he would have gotten the respect that he wanted, that he so desperately craved. So morale at this point sucks. The team's not performing like I have to have them perform. And the one common thread through all of it is Chandler. Let's give morale a boost. We'll get rid of the thorn that's sitting in the lion's foot. Lion's going to feel better, I'm going to feel better, and everybody's going to be happier. Hi. Hey, kiddo. I need you to be a witness. Chandler, Chandler, Lee. Go ahead. Yeah, can I see you up in the wheelhouse, please? Be right there. I think it's time for us to part company. This was extra awkward because I had to sit there and act like, mm, I don't know what's happening, I'm just here watching when I was the one who told Captain Lee the night before to do it. Ooh. <laughs> Guests are bleeding. There are dishes to be done, drinks to be made. I thought this was a nine-person crew. Something needs to happen. I got it. I don't think I said the death word, but I was like, <laughs> do we want people to die, Captain Lee? <laughs> it was like I ordered the execution, and I had to be like, oh, hmm, what's happening? Preference sheet meeting? <laughs> And also, I, I am glad I was there because when Captain Lee said, you know, it's just not going to work out, Chandler had the look of relief. Oh, really? Yeah, I know. I know. Most people would be like a little, or ego would be bruised. They'd be like, but why? I'd be upset. I'd be, oh. If someone fired me, I'd be like, why? I would. I worked so hard. I'd be upset. I'd be like, how dare you? Do you think he thought, mm, can I take my sandwich and no, he was like, like me? It, the look was perfect. 
I can take. I can go home to take more naps. It was like so non-reactive. I think it's time for us to part company. Like he didn't care about being on the boat at any point. So it's because all of his reactions were like this. <laughs> yeah. We're gathered here today um, to say goodbye to our post and Chandler. Person. Chandler's probably best known for his eye mask and naps. His silence. And his love for ice cream. And his lack of engaging personality. And assertiveness. And his comfort with single shoe fashions. Mm. A lot of people would say he's a pioneer. Yes. In the one shoe fashion world. Mm. The only thing I know he was good at was treating me like sh. But I was very good at him. <laughs> He's good at taking breaks for lunch. He's really good at naps. Really good at naps. Yeah. He's really good at adhering to a strict bedtime. Because he has to get up early to set the boat up. But mostly it's about that strict bedtime. Mm -hmm. I think that Chandler is meant for private owned yes. boats, which are less guests. More family oriented. Less demands, less hectic. More breaks, more naps. And he's not good at charter boats. It's two different worlds. And he's a good worker, but he's not a great leader. And he doesn't think outside the box. He's very to the book. I don't know what book it is, though. <laughs> it's like a bedtime story. It's a book his mummy gave he's, him. he's by the book, and that book <laughs> happens to be Go the F to Sleep. <laughs> Are you not going out? No, I was gonna have a chat to you guys really quick. Okay. If you don't mind. Do you wanna come sit here? Um, I would like to give you my two days. Um, how did you get wind of this? <laughs> I'd gone out to do a scout on Anchorages, and I came back, and Jesus Christ, the shit had hit the fan. I felt like Warren Zevon, I want somebody to send lawyers guns and money. <laughs> you know, just get me out of this. I mean, what the heck? How can things go so pear-shaped in a couple of hours? We were all getting ready to go out, so she knew exactly where we were. We were up in our cabin getting ready. She could have just come up and say, I'm really not enjoying myself here. I think I'm going to quit. No, nope, it was yeah, a she blind to wait side. for everyone to be in the crew mess. It was a drive-by humiliation. Mm. Didn't expect it to go down like that. She really put the blame on Kate and Josiah. And I didn't really appreciate that. I didn't feel like they were to blame. I didn't feel like, I mean, they definitely had complicity, but I didn't feel like they were um, ostracizing her either. You know, I felt like they were trying to make it work with her, even though she was pretty hectic. And for her to just blame them completely for everything, you know, that's, that's not very classy to put that on other people. It was rude, especially when you've been pulling her weight for a few charters. Yeah, and in fact, she has not flipped the boat on ever any of the occasions that we have. And now the day that she said she would help us flip the boat, she locks herself in the cabin. Well, technically, she said when she signed up for this job that she would help flip the boat every time. Uh, yeah, that's true. You know, technically. Wait, so, so she never helped flip the boat? No, she was always at a doctor's appointment. I think maybe one? No. She was always yeah, she, found she did, a reason not to. Not once. I, I wish the best for her, I do. I like her. But I think I, no, I like I <clears throat> genuinely I ju like her. I judge Caroline on the person I met day one, not the person who that left. left. Because I think she would agree, and we both would agree, that's not who she is or wants no. to be. Um, I think it was just too much for her. I think yeah, I think she's a lovely person, but like you said, I think like we can make jokes because she was much, rude. But I think it just got too much. Yeah. For her. I don't think now, looking back. I think if I met her, I would, I would go for coffee with her. Yeah, I've got nothing against her at all. Okay. I'm not gonna, but I maybe would. When Caroline left, she actually made some allegations that were serious. I try not to tell Captain Lee things that he shouldn't be worried about. So this meeting to me is like, I, now I'm down a stew. I've got more work to do. Why are we having this meeting? And I'm slightly insulted. I just don't think it helps that you've worked for him for five seasons and then he decides to believe the one person 
that is below you in yes. rank, and he's only known for three weeks. Less than. I think that's and it has also hard. It's also it? off the boat now. Yeah. Like, what was his ultimate kind of like, goal? I don't know. I don't know. To punish me? Like, are you going to fire me or not? Like, do you? I still understand because now I got work to do. We got more charters to go. Uh, do we really and want a bad vibe? Down, so we need it's, even more it wasn't good do. for morale, is what it was. Oh. Not. Right. Right, but he obviously couldn't fire you, didn't fire you. Oh, yes, he didn't, but he sure made it awkward mm -hmm. for a little bit. But then I had to go back to ironing his underwear. Looking back on it, would I have handled it differently? Yeah. I wouldn't have confronted Kate. I know if I if somebody asked me those questions, I'd have been pissed. All I was going to do was alienate Kate. And to what end? I wasn't there. I couldn't verify anything that was said. I wasn't privy to see anything. To me, I made a mistake. This is all being filmed, so what if the allegations are shown to be true? That would be two mistakes I made. I feel like Captain Lee I might need to up his Metamucil because the fact that I've worked for him for five years and he now he's trusting a third stewardess, that's rude. I, I, I was very upset with him. But have you made amends since? I love Captain Lee. Both Captain Lee and I were very sad that I was not really talking to him because it didn't feel right. But that little meeting in the bridge, he says that his trust was tested. Well, that makes two of us. Mm.